Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophy at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Prey. We're still in close proximity to the hardware labs, which is straight on, but we've been there already. We didn't really find Lorenzo Calvino, but we used the security office to locate his position, and it's clearly on the second floor. But we also picked up a weapons upgrade last time. I kind of forgot to use that. So we're going to do that first. So the weapon I want to actually upgrade is the Disruptor Stun Gun. Because it's really, really handy. Um, and we can upgrade a lot of it. But the power is good. So that's the duration of the stun. But it's only increased by half a second. The range would also be nice. But I think we're going to start with the shots. So one extra shot per battery is a great upgrade. So there we go, shots increased. Which means that if we find more batteries, because I don't actually know what it runs on. What in our inventory it actually runs on. Ah, there we go, battery packs for the disruptive stun gun. There's a lot of them. 350, is that 350 batteries? Or just the, the amount of charge it gets? Probably something like that. Uh, otherwise, health and suit wise, we're really, really doing great. We still have a lot of materials in our inventory, but that's not going to be too much of a problem, I think. So there's at least one phantom up here. If we manage to get up here, which I'm going to do like this, we're still sneak climbing. Uh, but I don't know if I'm going to just bump into it right away or not. If we do, I did quick save. Maybe I should do that again. There we go. A little, little sneaky quick save. Oh, there it is. And then we can actually just fire at it. There we go. We, I mean, we do have a lot of bullets. We do have a lot of bullets. We can take care of those guys. The pistol is what we're here for. Uh, so that gives us an organ, crispy fried, petri dish sample, and another sci hyper. But that's a lot of stuff. We still can't repair. That would be handy, right? So repair that with repair two. Because I'm really going into the engineer track. Uh, which is good, of course. But if we can get one more neuro mold, that would allow us to get repair two, I think. Holy crap, what happened to that guy? Oh, they made they made the snowman with the glue cannon. That is interesting. Might be something useful in there. Uh don't have the password for the small scale testing. But this opens up a whole nother floor. This is going to be interesting. Because I thought we did everything in the last episode, but clearly not. Oh, more chairs. Oh, there it is. Oh, God. Oh, God. Kill it with fire. Oh, where the hell did that even come from? That was behind me. But at least I'm clearing my inventory a bit further. Uh, with more big bang candies. There we go. There we go. I'm sneaking for no reason then. God damn it. What's this on the floor? Feed this to an engineer operator after you memorize. Group workstation password macro 11. Okay. There we go. Macro 11. There's, there's more glue canisters over there. Three emails. First one from to themselves. To whoever gave whomever gave Dr. Dear Mr. Gluey McGlueface Arms, aka First Shift, I bow to thee. At first I thought he jellied eel, the jellied eel hat could not be topped. I stand corrected. Your triumphant creation of baseball glove hands cannot be equaled. The unworthy second shift. Okay. If you need supplies, as a reminder that if you need supplies from the machine shop, the supply closet key code is 0179. If you take anything, please let me know. Supplies from the machine shop. Wait. Was that? Oh, so that's where the recycling and everything is. Test specimen preparation. The dimension shall be optimized. Blah, 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 blah. Recommend moving to full scale. Glue is still vitreophobic. Ah, so vitreophobic means that it's scared of glass. So it repulses. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. It still doesn't work on glass. That's cool. So there goes my, my Latin, Latin class is really helping on that front. Um... Hello, my name is Mr. Gluey McGlueface. Okay. Mr. Gluey McGlueface, can I get your materials? Or do I... Oh, I need to smash him. Oh, God. Oh, there's one. Just gonna... There it goes. You dick. He thought he was being sneaky, but he shouldn't be making that much noise. 
Uh, oh, I should have eaten that banana. Um, ah, jelly, jellied eels. Let's eat that. Take the baseball glove, the used cigar, baseball glove, asteroid fragment. That's probably the most interesting one. The asteroid fragment. Still no... Um, still no... Neuromold. I feel like we're getting close. Big bag candy. Still big bang candy. I still can't get that. But I mean, I have a lot of food in my inventory, so that's not a waste. Did I pick something up that I can dismantle on my own? Because I don't think... Can I actually inventory dismantle? No. I can split stuff. But I can't dismantle. Uh, and everything. Yeah, there's no way I can actually get rid of stuff. Okay. I could drop the banana if I'm sick of the banana. I mean, who's sick of bananas? Um, still need to be careful, of course, because the second neuro... I mean, one neuromod could fix a lot of things, because I could do either repair two or the inventory space that we get extra. But from Thorstein... So this is Thaddeus York's station, okay? Please keep an eye on Franklin. The man spends far too much time on personal projects and recreational pursuits. We're all human here, I get it. But I'm worried he may try to use the propulsion system to access unauthorized areas. Did you lose this? Hey, this is Gus down in Cargo Bay. Found something curious in an outbound container on my shift. I think it's a fabricated plan for an autonomous turret. With stash with a bunch of old capacitor cells slated for delivery to the Pythias facility. It might have been an accident, but I don't know. One of the officers put it in a safe in the life support security station. If you want to back talk to them. And you're in charge. Dr. Calvino isn't feeling well enough to present the latest looking glass stack to our visitors. Well, be away from the labs for an extended period. I've left everything in working order while I'm out, but just in case I'm sending you the key code to my office from Dr. Thorstein. That's the treasure trove. So 6483. Okay, so that's where all the treasure is supposed to be. Nothing in the shelves, but there's something over here. We have the code for that, yeah. Oh, is this? Ah, this is Dr. Thornstein's office, okay. Six foot, no. No, can I? No. Uh, there we go. Six, four, eight, three. I'm good with numbers. Oh god, there's gonna, there's gonna be, there's gonna be mimics here. It's, what? How the? This doesn't make any sense. There can't be two no entry signs, right? Am I gonna waste a bullet on that? I'm gonna waste a bullet on that, I think. Okay, they're not mimics. They're just f fucking me. Oh god. Thornstein. Thornstein is also. There we go. He's dead. Okay, so Thornstein was also a horrifying monster. I think that's the director of the lab. Hmm. Huh. I have the sense he resented you. Unfortunate. Would he have a recycler in his, <laughs> his place? I think I'm gonna have to go back for a second. Um, because I have too much stuff in my inventory. Unless I can find a neuromold here. Which, of course, is possible. Um, I can take this though. I think I have a coil already as well, so that's gonna be handy. This guy must have neuromods in his office. Because we know, we know he was hoarding them, so it would make sense that he would have some of them. I'm just gonna focus on that first. I think I have, don't have the code. If you forget the code, E-S-E-X-E-E. -E -E. Um... Code clue. So that's on the periodic table. ES, EX. ES is here, so 99. No, XE. XE, I'm sorry. There it is. 9954. 9954. 9954. There we go. I am smart. Anti rat farmer fabrication plan. Okay, I can grab all that because that also goes into my inventory. Okay. Um. I could, however... Oh, yeah, i never done that. I can actually drop stuff, then equip a recycler charge. Like this. So I can drop all that, and then I can put... Oh, God! I killed myself. Okay, that was, that was bad.
Yeah, and I even got a, I even got a trophy for that. I don't know what the trophy exactly. I got two trophies for killing myself with a recycling charge. Oh god, where am I? Oh wow, this is a while back. This is a while back. Okay, so... Give me a second, I think. So, I took a bit more damage against the Phantom this time, but yeah, nothing to do about that. So, let's just heal up a bit. And then I'm gonna retry that. So, I'm just gonna eat some food. So, I'm gonna just toss that stuff all over here. So, right here in the corner. So, that's all that. And then I can throw... And right over there. There we go. I'm quickly gonna equip something else because I don't want to accidentally throw that again. And I didn't even I, I'm, I didn't even I didn't even save before I did that. That was not not the smartest thing I've done today. But I made myself into balls. That was and I I got two trophies for it, which was I'm assuming that's because it was just such a small idea to actually do that. So I think I can actually get something from his corpse as well. Oh no, that was all already transformed as well. Okay, never mind. So we got the save. We opened that up. We got the health get. So we're good on track. We're back on track. So it's just going to quick save this time. Because <laughs> apparently the game doesn't save as much as I thought it would. There's more synthetic materials over here. I feel like there should be neuromoles here, right? Huh. I just wanted to write you personally and thank you for the new reployer. I know some people have been wait on waiting lists to get one of these and it was a pleasant surprise to find a new one in my office this morning. It is this feeling of gratitude that makes it awkward for me to trouble you further. However, if you could spare one of your engineers for a bit, it would be great if they could swing by and show me exactly what it does. An impart requisition wanted to clear a Morgan request. Morgan was down in hardware today, just standing there as if not sure where to go. And when I offered to help, Morgan asked for more operator parts. I asked if the last ones we'd sent hadn't been sufficient, and I got a blank look. I mean no offense, but Morgan's requisition enough to repair any operator in the station five times over now, and we have other operators that need maintenance. Well, that was because Morgan was of course making... January. Which makes sense. I'm just checking those books, because I don't know if there's, there might be something useful in there. Okay, so this is another door we haven't checked yet. It goes down, but I haven't seen any elevators before this, right? This doesn't make much sense. Where does this come out then? Oh. Oh. Okay, so that's... That was probably locked before. Just gonna run, run around a bit, because I feel like we did most of this, but we need to get... On the other side over here, but how does this work? It seems like this should be operable with a button, right? And we have the foam thing. I've never used this thing before. And didn't trigger that. Um, but I feel like this thing should be able to come down, right? Or how does it want me to cross this thing? Or just, of course. Like this. Ah, yes. Of course, the glue gun. I love how this, this game actually allows you to just make simple... Simple... Deductions on your own. It doesn't feed you this stuff. That's weird. There's two water coolers right next to one another. Oh, and we got another weapon upgrade kit. That's nice. And uh, Nikki, Nikki Tanner. Sorry, Nikki. Another glue gun as well with a lot of ammo. And then I'm going to dismantle that thing immediately. Uh, menu dismantle. There we go. And then we can also use the weapon kit on the stun gun again. I think the stun gun. Because the stun gun has the range one. Yeah, I wanted to go into the range one. There we go. Range increased. So that gives us a bit more space again. What the hell happened here, by the way? I think I can... That's a robot, right? There we go. An engineer operator. Let's take the spare parts out of that. I just want to check. Because these seem to be a bit too many chairs. Nope. Okay. Fair enough. Definitely a lot of food. I think I can get the banana. Because I have bananas. 
add more stuff that I can actually just dismantle. But I could use another recycling charge if I want to. But I don't want to just yet. Uh, okay, so we haven't been over there yet. So this entire area we haven't seen just yet. So if there's another phantom here, which is entirely possible. I do need to be careful. There's another corpse over there. Corpses are always good. Well, good for us, not not for the, the person that was the corpse before. So that's green, so that's science division. And a transcript from Mio Okabe. Hello? Hey, it's Langley. Are you a... Is there anything weird going on over there? No, like what? I don't want you to panic. What is going on, Langley? Not sure yet. Security is running all over the place. So, everyone's still working there? I guess, I don't know. I've been in the lab all day, hang on. I'm looking now. I don't... Okay, and then she... What was that? Oh my god, I think we just lost two labs. What? Ugh, I have to go. So that's the labs down there, so the ballistics and the chemical lab. Um, she's holding some interesting items, so I'm actually gonna... Just make some space. So I ate a few things just to be able to grab that. I'm just gonna check, because I think the weapon kit, we can use that. Again on the stun gun maybe to get the recharge rate? Oh no. No, I'm gonna improve the glue cannon now. Uh, that was not what I wanted to do. Upgrade. So handling or range. I think range is probably better to make the puzzling go quicker as well. There we go. And then further we need lab tag to upgrade that further. So that's good. That gets rid of the weapon uh, upgrade kit as well. And then I'm just gonna upgrade the, uh, well, equip the gun again. Just going with the gun for now. So that's the... The elevators look weird. Do I just need to get in that? Yeah, it goes down and up, which is... Weird, but fine. Okay, so Dr. Calvino is over there. So that means we need to go to the other side first, obviously. Just gonna get the wrench. Medical bay. So another med kit is always nice. A med kit fabrication plan. That is nice. That is incredible. Because that allows us to make med kits. Whenever we're near, near a fabricator. Okay. So that was just a simple jump scare. Just a simple jump scare. I got the jump on you, buddy. Where did it go? Did it go over here? There we go. Got it. Right before it hit me. Right before it hit me. There we go. Typhon organ for me. Whoo. Okay, so I'm gonna have to return to the hardware labs pretty soon. If I, but I think I even need to. I'm gonna return there in a second just to get my stuff uh, recycled. Oh god. Didn't expect there to be two. Didn't expect there to be two. They warned me about the one. Didn't expect there to be two, so there's more stuff that I can still pick up. Oh, so we're back here. Okay, that's great. That's great. Okay. Uh, I'm actually going to recycle that really quickly. And then we have the fabricator. We have a lot of new things. Anti-rad. A container of pills that removes accumulated radiation or radiation sickness. And radi radiation sickness. Then the bolt caster itself. I'm just going to check those off. We can make... Huh, we can make med kits, I'm gonna make one, because we have a lot of materials, so I might as well make a few bullets as well. So make, I think, two stacks of those, and there we go. So I can't fabricate neuromods because of the, the problem that we've seen in the, the notes that they were talking about. I'm just gonna have to get back on top of the pipes here. So, with that done, we're back in the medical lab. Just want to check that we haven't missed any materials here. I'm going to assume that the electricity doesn't arc upwards through the floor. Because that would be bullshit. And that would happen. There we go. 12 more bullets. I think we have plenty of ammo right now. So we should be able to take everything out that we come across. I'm just going to dismantle the gun. There we go. Dismantle the gun. Beams and waves labs. Combustion. Okay, so that one is broken. Oh. That side of the lab was breached. Hard vacuum. 
No gravity. There's an exterior airlock in the machine shop you could use to reach him. Okay, so that we know already. So now we need to just go back again. That's annoying. So, the airlock. Oh, I can actually just use this. Unlock the airlock for hardware lobs. There we go. So, Talos 1 has multiple airlocks which lead to the exterior of the space station. Ah, okay, so that's a different area again. Travel! Microgravity detected. Okay, so now... Ooh. Your trans-star suit is equipped with a propulsion system to navigate the harsh environments of space. To navigate, use L to trust and L3 to boost trust. Press L1 and R1 to break. You can X to ascend and circle to descend. Okay. Oh, wow. Jesus. This is interesting. Uh, X, X to descend? Okay. Wow. Okay. Um, there's a lot of explosive stuff over here. Ah, so I, so I can roll. Airlock to psychotronics. Human corpse. Can I actually go out that far? So that's another operator. Um, but where is Dr. Calvino? He was outside the window. This is cool. I'm also incredibly terrified of going too far into space. So that is Charisma. Charisma Shuhan. Uh, we got a few things from her. Now, ah, there's Calvino. It was up a bit. So let's just boost. Probably shouldn't go too fast, because if I hit something at this speed with my suit, I'm probably going to damage it. Okay. So, probably need to descend, descend, descend a bit. Ooh, wow. Ooh, wow. Slowly moving in here. I don't know if I have weapons when I'm doing this. Okay. Hello, Dr. Calvino. Oh, he has a transcribe as well. Let's listen to that. Mio, this is Dr. Calvino. What's up? I'm feeling ill. I, not myself today. I think I won't be in for my shift at all. Okay. Do you still want me to finish this array? I fabricated a shit ton of glass. Array? I don't recall. You asked me to set up a new array. You must have misunderstood. Are you... Honestly, I prefer if you left my experiments alone in my absence. Uh, well, look, I have a message you left me. Seriously, I would not have made all of this if you hadn't... No, no, of course. I, uh, I remember now. Uh, let's just, uh, for the time being, uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter? Uh, let's talk about it tomorrow. Okay, so Dr. Calvino is clearly suffering from some sort of dementia. Uh, we got his keycard. You found him. Not surprising. Well done. Okay, and there's another transcribe on his body. Is that a different one? Transcribe Lorenzo Calvino. It doesn't show... Although it is. It is a new one. Mio, uh, this is... Um, this is Dr. Calvino. Ah, well, I suppose you've turned in. Uh, or you're ignoring me. Uh, I just want to... Well, I, I will be a little late for my shift tomorrow, but... Um, uh, the, the first thing in the morning, I want you to put together a new micro lens array. You see, the, the old one is its garbage. And uh, get what you need from the machine shop. And if Clive is being an ass, just take it from the supply closet when he's not looking. Uh, we're not supposed to know the code, but, uh, well, uh, I'm sending it to you anyway. Okay, so there's a machine shop closet as well. We've been in a machine shop a few times now. I feel like I should have seen that. That's shotgun shells. We still haven't seen a shotgun. I would really love a shotgun. Sounds awesome to be using that, but... Um, I think if I go up a bit, there's something here I can repair. 
Oh my god, this is... I'm getting sick by doing this. Breach, fail safe. Ah, repair two. But... But, I promised myself I was gonna equip repair two. And I did get two neuromods from Dr. Calvino's corpse there, so... Repair two is, of course, four neuromods. And not three. Damn it. Repair two. I'm gonna... Do I save up? Or do I get the suit modification? You know what? I don't need the suit modification just yet. I have enough space for now. Um, but if I fix this breach, I can probably get into the beams and waves lab over there. And that door will open up. So that is annoying. But yeah, not something I can change right now. There's a lot of loud noises right now. I do apologize. See, there's one more corpse over there. I'm gonna grab that. If that has neuromods, all the better. If not, we're gonna have to... Well, we're gonna leave this anyway, so... Gonna get the corpse. Give me a second. There we go. There's another corpse. And this one is... Is that brown? Oh. He has absolutely nothing in his inventory. Great, I suppose. Can I get your banana peel? At least I got something out of you. Um, okay, I'm gonna have to go back now. So, back here. I should probably still use um, the vents because I don't want to get hit by that lightning again. And this seems to be fine because I had leverage one, so that's perfect for this. And then we actually get immediately at Calvino's workshop as well. So let's unlock that and crouch immediately again because I don't want to know what's in here. We know Dr. Calvino is dead, we know Yuki is dead as well, so there's not really anybody left to kill, I think. Diagnose and repair the looking glass server connections. Which is right over here. Plenty of objects lying around, I'm gonna assume that for now we're fine. And if we can get our hands on a neuromod, that would be nice as well. But more materials are always nice, uh, although I have plenty of everything. At the moment, uh, is there something? There's stuff behind the stairs. I need to throw some boxes around to get underneath here. Still more materials. And that's basically it. Because there's nothing in here either. So, let's check out the connection to the looking glass console over here. So it doesn't have any power. So power is over here. Power control terminal. Power on. Okay. That's really cool. Connection loss. But now we have this terminal over here. Video playback. Select video to send to looking glass display. Don't really need to do that. Network utilities verifier and store server connectivity and diagnostics Diagnose network servers. Let's do that So ARX SR4BN864 disconnected 864 this one Restoring connection There we go Connection restored I'm a programmer Nice work Morgan the looking glass screens are online again. Head back to your office as soon as you can. It's important you hear the rest of your message. I'll meet you there. But January, don't you know the message? I'm assuming she does. Or, or it does. Because it's a robot. Oh, wow. There's something on the outside, at least. And there's fireballs? This is weird. This is getting weird. Well, it was weird from the start, but maybe there's something over here. More spare parts, a fried hard drive, engineering control systems, blah, 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 and the music kicking in. Another corroded coil. It's not really something useful, but three emails. Uh, Mary, this is Dr. Calvino. I require you to fabricate a travel mug that weighs exactly 170 grams. My feeble hands need a lightweight container for my coffee. I'll be sure to put in a good word to Dr. Tornstein. So Calvino is a dick. Scale modification, 
Clive, this is Dr. Calvino. I need you to modify a skill so when it reads 170 grams, it sends an on-off signal. Please let me know when it's ready, okay? So he wanted to turn on his, uh, his monitor when he puts his uh, mug on there. Lorenzo, I've had a look at the specs you sent me. I see a few problems. Didn't realize you'd offloaded so much of the processing and storage. What if someone took a wrench to the main server? The whole system goes down. Anyway, come by when you get a chance and we'll go over the details. I have a few suggestions if you're amenable. But yeah, Dr. Calvino is slowly losing his mind. Which is, of course, not good if he's the, the main researcher in your lab. Uh, but there's actually not much in his office, although there's... Okay, there's one health kit over there and I can grab the grates. Let's toss some over here. I don't know why it's making that noise when I pick something up, but... Okay, um, I, can, I can grab the med kit. That's a lot of work for just a single med kit, by the way. Ah, oh, there's another phantom here now. Okay, it's just a normal phantom, though. So might as well just bypass everything in a second. I'm just going to recycle again. So, got rid of my junk again. Let's go through this area. I don't think I ever ne even need to tend to the phantom. Because it was in the back corner. I don't need to go through that door again. So I can just take the shortcut on the right. Is that blood, by the way? Oh, yeah. from She's still dripping blood. That's good. Well, not good. But, I mean, she's dead. She's not missing that blood. So let's go in here, drop down. This guy, this guy just fell. He was trying to get away and then he fell on his face. And Sean, I never checked Sean's corpse. He's a fan of bourbon. And there's two more used cigarettes down here. I mean, I can use all the crap that I want. Because uh, I didn't really check out the theater proper because it was, of course... A phantom running around and a few mimics. But this thing is still dead. This still thing thing has a coil, so plenty of materials, but we're almost out of the area. So as long as the mimic uh, the phantom hasn't followed me over here. And I would get shot by the third. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Yes, I'm running. Go stand in front of the third, please. Is it? Oh, it was getting shot by the third, actually. Okay, good Good riddance I deployed that third. Um, he actually has a lot of stuff. So if I can lure that other phantom over here. Hello. Ow, shouldn't have done that. There we go. I just shot that one. Didn't really need to, but I lost a bit of help with that. But I mean, you get a lot of stuff from killing phantoms, so I don't really mind. And now I can actually use a suit repair kit. Use that. There we go. You actually get a lot of synthetic materials if you do destroy those. And the spare parts as well. Holy crap. Wait, that doesn't... Oh, that's probably for all of them. I'm assuming, yeah, because that went down. So yeah, that's for all of them. And then I can eat a few things just to get... Uh, my health back up. There we go. There we go. And we have plenty of bullets and everything like that, so I don't really mind. Yeah, yeah, scream all you want. Okay. Don't really need to be so much of a scaredy cat anymore right now, because we're in a good space. We're, gonna, we're in a good place. I have a lot of materials, a lot of stuff to use, so uh, let's get back to the main lobby. By the way, this game is getting in my head a bit, because I do want to keep playing, but we're all at time again. So, we're gonna take a little break. I'm just gonna recycle my stuff here again. Because, uh, again, I've gathered a lot of stuff in between two doors, basically. And there's more materials. There we go. There we go. Um, but I'm gonna have to take a little break again, because we're again at, for me at least, 50 minutes. So, uh, we're gonna take a little break. So thank you guys so much for watching. I do want to keep playing, but sadly, I'm gonna take a little break. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next episode of Prey. And we'll uh, listen to that uh, video completely then. So uh, thanks again enormously for watching. And see you guys in the next episode of Prey. Goodbye.